All right, moment of truth here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got with the powers that be. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write you a check for uh, 1713000 So... That's, that's for everything. Yeah, who do you it's, want me to make it out to? <laughs> no, we'll have to, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Welcome to Hoobie's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And this is a very unusual video because uh, I'm going to get an offer to sell my entire collection. Every single car that I own. And well, I'm kind of tempted just a little bit because of the new farm property. Not only do I have a lot of things I need to do there, uh, but also I'm having a totally clean start at the farm. And why not have a clean start with the cars? Or just get out of cars and start farming, do chickens and cows and uh, crops and things and uh, get out of the car business entirely. That, that's definitely not going to happen. Uh, but uh, this all started because I sold a collection of cars at Barrett Jackson, including my Corvette Z06 that I purchased from the local Chevrolet store that I used to work at 20 years ago. So I got in a little bit of trouble for that because uh, Chris and Smiley over there wanted to get first right of refusal if I did want to sell that Corvette. I completely forgot and sold it at Barrett Jackson and other cars. They said, uh, we're starting a new exotic dealership called Mogsy Exotics, a part of our Chevy store, and we really, really want inventory. They want to be a big, huge player in the exotic and collector car game, and they're willing to buy every single one of my cars, anything I'm willing to sell. So I said, well, come on out and bid. And that's exactly what's happening today. We're going to go to, I think, three or four different locations, starting here in the hangar. They're going to look over every single car in my collection, put a number on it, a hard number that I can sell right now. So this should be interesting. But before we get into things, I'd like to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I used BetterHelp to find a therapist last year, and it's helped me understand myself better and work through some issues. Obviously, there have been a lot of changes in my life, and I'm sure this new clarity from therapy contributed to it, but I have never been happier, and thankfully my therapist hasn't tried to address my compulsive buying problems uh, just yet. Now. I know there is a stigma with asking for therapy, but there shouldn't be. It helped me a lot. BetterHelp is a virtual service that within a few days of filling out a form questionnaire, it matches you with someone in their 30,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that you may not have available in your area. It may have worked a little too well in my case since the therapist was also a Midwesterner that was into cars and has a BMW E30 in the garage. And the type of therapy varies from exactly what you want, including via text, audio, or live video. And sometimes with therapy, Therapy. The first therapist that you try isn't a perfect match for you, but with BetterHelp, you can request a new therapist anytime at no additional charge. So join the over 3 million people, including me, who have taken charge of their mental health with a BetterHelp therapist, and you can get 10% off your first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash garage. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash garage for 10% off. Now, selling all of my cars? Back to that? They're already distracted here, so... Chris, Smiley, uh, dirt bikes are not for sale. Sorry, I mean, my dad would absolutely this, this, kill this me. This is what I want. I, uh, want, I mean, that, that pilot, I think I'd rather have that pilot. That's, that's gold. In, in my book, in my world, that pilot is gold. I barrel rolled this thing when I was 18 years old. That's why this bumper's crashed in, a little bit of damage there. Uh, my dad was so mad at me because it was, I, I, I it's imagine. mint. That's, um, it's, a, it's a unicorn today. Yeah, but my dad, he raced motorcycles back in the day, and a lot of these are the ones that he raced. Some of them, like I think this one was new in a crate, never assembled, and a lot of these are restored, the mini bikes. Uh, that's the one I broke my arm on, the XR100. Uh, yeah, that's like the one from the Terminator film. Really? Yeah, you thought you were John Connor? I, I don't remember that. I just broke my arm on it when I was 14 and, and was done with dirt bikes. But you can't bid these. <sighs> Um, yeah, you have to bid only stuff that I own. Can I get the blazer? No, I don't own that one. No, no blazer? That's the thing that, yeah, several of these cars oh, okay. aren't part of mine, but, uh... What can I buy? Everything here. We're gonna have to go Fair? to a few different locations because okay. they're scattered all around. The Ferrari 458 doesn't count. Uh, we can start here, uh, is the start of the Hoopty Fleet, basically. Uh, Z3 pricing on this one, right? This is Z8. Oh. If you had said it was a Z3, it'd be, oh. yeah. Oh, so I, uh, can I do the Z3 plus 5? No, it, it's a oh. 2001 Z8, very, very special car, M5 engine, six-speed manual. Very I even cool. sprung a lot of money for the Alpina wheels. It's interesting, the Alpina Z8 sell for a lot more, yeah. and I don't get it because they get a normal V8 in them that isn't as sturdy, and they're all automatics. I would want the M engine and the six-speed, but Alpina, of course the wheels look better. The, the mountain range Alpina? The Alpines? Or is that the whole reason? No, it's, it's not a safari one, but uh, yeah, it's just a design house that caters to BMW. So, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, the SLR McLaren Roadster, another very special car. This one only 4,000 miles. Now ignore the part on the Carfax that said it's been on fire. Um, yeah. It's uh, well, I like yeah. the, you know, the exhaust. The, the side exit exhaust, side exit exhaust. That's is very cool. Um, very so cool. the only black eye is it did have that, they called it a fire, it was an electrical mm -hmm. meltdown in the trunk around the battery, it had a mm -hmm. short. The one little rock chip too. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, you're gonna get really nitpicky here, I see. 21 years in the military, what do you expect? Okay, well, uh, yeah, I didn't detail or wash any of these things. So, yep, Ferrari 599, manual swapped. Um, there's a few that have sold already that are manual swap cars. Uh, existing manual transmission cars, there's like less than 20 in existence. 20? Um, so so this, one's, is this? this one's a swap, so it's much more common than that, I suppose. They've done, I don't know, they've done quite a few now, but it does add value to the car over a normal 599. A uh, little over 30,000 miles though, that's the downside. Ferrari, 30,000 miles is a, uh, like a driven car. They how, want, how about this color? Venusia. I love it. You don't like purple or wine? It's, it's plum. Is it not plum? It's it's uh, prune. Yeah, prune. Okay. Prune. I mean, you got plum. It's a little darker than plum. You call it prune, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Raisin. I'm I'm bracing for the low balls here, but uh, yeah, the uh, others. I guess the Trans Am doesn't count. No, I can't. What? No smoking the bandit. No, no smoking the bandit. That's not mine. But the cop car beneath it. Uh, you're welcome to bid. That was season one car issues car. It's actually a Plymouth Fury, but it has a Dodge grill on it. Um, yeah. I feel like I go back to my kids and watching Police Academy. Exactly. When I was watching this. Or yeah. Or, or Roscoe Peak Coon Train. Mm -hmm. But all the things. Oh. Or it, it would do all the things if it, the battery was charged. But. Well, you, you don't everyday drive it? Uh, no. No. I thought it was plugged in. Oops. Is this a, is this a hearse over here? <laughs> it's a Mybox 62 oh, partition. Oh, okay. It's the very, very rare one with the partition. Jay Leno drove me around in that car. Did he? Yes. But do, you have, do you have a video of it? So I do. If I, if I wanted to sell the car with the video, would I be able to? I, I do. It has 103,000 miles on it. That's, mm. the, yeah. But no, you just ruined it's a, half my banks. It's a very rare partition. Now, the, the Countach, this is, there's no stories on the Countach. It is a blue chip collectible 89 Countach with 120,000 kilometers. Yeah. Well, not miles, kilometers. What was, the one, what was the one movie back in the 80s where the beginning was the grandpa skipping the... Uh, Stones uh, through the pond. The spoof from Cannonball Run. Yeah. Oh, what was uh, that? Yeah. Something like not Need for Speed, but uh, I can't speed remember. Speed Zone. Yep, there it is. Yeah. And, and the and the Countach went skip, 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 skip. Yep. Yep. I remember that. And then there was a cop driving, and he said, "You're out of your jurisdiction." I remember that. Well, most people remember Cannonball Run and not the, not the spoof movie, well, but. Well, no. <laughs> so then uh, the. Uh, 66 427 in Nassau blue. I do like that. It is really cool. That would look really good on the Chevy floor. Very good. We definitely need to take another look at that. <sighs> All right, well, I can get it down. Um, you're gonna have to bid my grandmother's SL from up there because of the sentimental attachment. There's pretty much no money you could put on that car to where I'd sell it. Okay. But um, so, feel free to try. So two million? It, now, it's a driver. Would you look at this? It, Just look at it. Just look at this. Off. Look at that. It fell off. It's already fell off. But no, there's plenty of little imperfections. Uh -oh. It's an old fiberglass car. Some of it's original paint, some of it's not. Uh, nice period correct, but not numbers matching 427. So it's a good driver. Uh, the best improvement, it has a Tremec 5 speed in it rather than that Muncie 4 speed, that rock crusher. So it has a highway gear. It's so nice highway to drive. Gear, so it's good at like 75? Yes. So it's a great, great what? driver. You can't have big legs. If you have big legs, you're not driving this. Or you get a smaller diameter steering wheel. Something like that. Mm hmm. All right. this car you call that patina. patina. Oh yeah, I apologize for that. I can set the clock for you. Okay. Does it come with full tank of gas? Because we're only at a half tank. I don't think so. Yeah. It's very easy to fill up though. I sell all my cars, they come with full tank of gas. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> yeah. Two keys? These both keys? Those are both the keys, yeah. Okay. Yep. So there is, have you seen all you need to see here? I think so. All right. Well, there's, I think we're good. There's one more outside, but uh, okay. There is somebody mowing outside because every time I turn on the camera to do a YouTube video, somebody starts mowing. But we can go look at it real quick. Well, why did you have to do that? Did you tell them? To do that? That's just how it works for me. Oh. 
Uh, we're now at the new farm compound. We had to get away from the mowers uh, in order for you to view the FF, which uh, so, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit dirty. A, I, I thought that's what you call patina. Is that, no. is that farm patina? That, Since you're in the farm now, is it farm patina? It was outside in the rain and it's a little dusty, but the car is actually flawless and has a full PPF on it. It also has a recent transmission replacement, which is a huge deal for these, like a $40,000 transmission replacement. So uh, look through the dirt. I think you'd have a hard time faulting this car. It may be, condition-wise, the nicest one. Yeah, just pull. No, it's loose. <laughs> That's the Italian uh, craftsmanship for you. That's Italian craftsmanship. But yeah, Daytona seats. Nice big backseat hatchback Ferrari. Oh, well that was just me and Taco Tuesday. That'll come right out. A fly? Fly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Fly. <laughs> Nothing to complain about on this one, other than I didn't wash it, which I apologize. A bug did crawl in here and die. That, I need to get him out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Couple bugs. Couple bucks. Yes. Couple bugs, couple bucks. But if you want to see something really special and rare, I mean, forget this FF. You got to look here. Look in the carport. No, uh, no, 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 no. Right here. You're a Chevy man. This is an HHR panel SS. One of 216 or 17 in existence. This is the rarest Chevy performance car made probably in the last 20 years. Right here, you're staring at it. And you're a Chevy store. Yeah, it's curb wheel. It's got 190,000 miles on it, but it exists. This is a would priceless you, collector. Would you consider this a barn find? It, it has barn dust on it, yes. It's a barn find, this is a priceless barn, collector right barn here. Barn find, hmm. I wonder if I can advertise it like that. Barn find. So this one gets thrown in if I buy no. my five, get one free. No, no, you got to put a number on it. <laughs> no, it's a number? priceless. Okay, okay. I, I, it's hard to put a number on something this rare and priceless. So, I understand your trepidation, but so you need you to. So you don't have to pay for the towing company to grab it? it I'll, I'll take it off for. You give me a hundred bucks and I'll take it out of here for you. It, do some research. It drives wonderfully. It has cold air. It, it is drives very, like me, right? it, it drives, it drives, it drives, like it drives, uh, drives like a car. And of course the Aston Martin Vanquish. It's a pretty cool thing. Well, I, it just screams Jason Statham. Well, it's Pierce Brosnan's oh, there you go. Aston, but uh, was, his, was it actually his? No, um, his he got, you know drove in the movie. It was the one the, that the disappeared, seven? and then Aston Martin gave him one. Uh, that one burned to the ground in his garage recently. Just mm -hmm. had a random electrical thing. So, but th this one has random. never been on fire. So it has no random electrical thing. No, no, this one's actually very good. No yeah, has a new electric. clutch with the F1. A little bit of barn dust on it, but okay. nice car. So, that's the. Uh, pump for the flappy paddle thing. The flappy, cycling. Fl flappy paddle things? Yep. That manual, automated manual transmission. the turbine spooling up. No, 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 no. Okay. Alright, so I mean, ooh. Door ding. There's a few, yeah, there's a few little things on this car, but so, yeah, it did right, live in Colombia at one point. It was owned by a, a drug cartel? Drug cartel. But then it came back to the United States. I, I don't know if that's real or fake. No, that really happened, this uh -huh. car. Yeah. Was it named Pablo? No, 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 no. This was this was after Escobar. Well, yeah, yeah. We're definitely gonna have to put numbers on these. Yep. It's gonna take me a day or two to come up with some prices. On There's these. some more. You were not done oh. yet. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. Come on. I've got a list here. I know. Put all these together. I know. And hopefully, we come back and we're gonna agree on some numbers. Okay. We're gonna agree on some numbers. Are you saying my cars aren't nice enough to look at anymore? Hey, you said that just now. I didn't. <laughs> the Buick Grand National. You know, one man's junk is another man's. It's junk. This one's not junk. It's a hundred thousand kilometers because it's a Canadian spec car. Oh. But yeah, that's about sixty-ish thousand miles. Yeah. It's been repainted, but yeah, otherwise. I see some little fish eye there. Yeah. Yeah. Not that the factory paint was that good in the 80s, but... A few, uh, some Sharpie, mm -hmm. right here. Let's yeah, see. you can already see the reconditioning. It'd be yeah. fairly it'd be, easy. I think uh, Toretto drove this in one of the 
Uh, he did, absolutely. And then the 21,000 mile M6. I just got M6. this. M6. Yeah, 21,000 miles. Not many left with that low mileage. I just got it, so I don't really want to sell it, but feel free to put a number on it. Okay, I yeah. love it, man. Yeah. So, is it worth. I need the inventory, right? Right. And you know the kind of inventory that we have. Right. Well, this fits so in really I well. Need, I need to add to that. It is good option. Carbon fiber roof, very low mileage, super nice car. So. I mean, we're, we're, I'm, I'm not doing a Broadway lot here. This is going to be. I, I don't need a Broadway. <laughs> Broadway is the crappy uh, part of town where all the yeah, hoop to use car dealers here in Wichita. Oh, uh, there's more. Come on, there's more. Okay. There's more. Just, I'm coming. just two more barns. Two more barns. Smiley's melting. Now, I swear I don't like my cars dirty, but it's just a thing right now, so. Does this got the butterfly doors? 2011 SLS AMG. Yeah, this is, uh, this is King, doors. this is King Kong here. Ooh. And it's a cool color combination, Dezinho Mystic White with the, look at the interior, Dezinho. So for us peasants, does that just mean pearl white? Yep, yep, pearl white like the old Cadillac, so white diamond tri metallic. Tri-coat, tri tri-coat. Tri there you go, exactly. Tri-coat pearl, okay? Yep. This one's really, really nice. And yeah, the the, the butterfly doors here. with the peanut butter interior. Yep. That's what I'm thinking about. Got a carbon, carbon fiber steering wheel. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh, watch this. Oh, 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 oh. oh, God. Oh, you got the goggles? Yep. Yeah. You know, that's a leftover prop from my Diablo. I don't know how it got in there. I was doing the dumb and dumber thing. All right. You ready? I think the keys are in it. Maybe hit the button. Probably not, actually. Nope. But it, it runs perfectly. You're welcome to test drive any of them. You can have the goggles for the bidding. Oh, wow. I, all the work I know you're doing. But I really, really love these. It's one of the last normally aspirated V8 Mercedes before they went into the AMG GT. And of course, the doors go up, so that's the thing. Yeah. When I did my car trek, they gave us those fire extinguishers just in case. This fire is, extinguisher? This is a car trek car. That's a fire extinguisher? Yeah, yeah, please don't pull it and you'll ruin my interior. Hmm. You do have eye protection though. I do have my eye protection. Hmm. All right, there is oh, oh. Is this the, uh, for COVID? Yeah, leftover COVID mask, but. Does it come with the COVID soaked? It, uh, comes, it comes with the hand sanitizer. Give me 48 hours, come up with some numbers, we'll come by and we'll slap some sold stickers on some stuff. Okay. Does it sound good? Maybe, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm know. I'm a little textbook. I'm a little nervous based on your very critical eye there. I mean, uh, you've said every single car a million mile Dodge Ram. It's got literally one million miles on the original Cummins engine. It's a four wheel drive. It's gone through several transmissions. This is an oil field hot shot truck. So I bought it with 994,000 miles. For some reason, they didn't want to drive it all the way to the finish line. So I got to be the one to do it. That's worth it. But 200 miles short, the whole fuel system takes a dump four grand for me to drive it the last 200 miles to uh, get it to a million. So now it has a whole new? Whole new fuel system. Injectors, injection pump, all that stuff. But it's original motor. So you're not even going to get your uh, $4,000 back out of it, are you? That's not good. <laughs> Probably not. I get that it's not exotic enough for you, but it has a cool story, which is sort of half the things with exotic cars. I think that's an exotic pickup truck, in my opinion. My life has um, a cool story, but nobody pays me for it. I agree. I suppose, but uh, hey, you wait. had to come in here, wait. right? This is where it all started with us. Uh, yeah. 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 I definitely know what you paid for that, so I ain't giving you that for it. <laughs> you know, I bought the 2005 Cadillac Escalade yeah, from I you. I know the guy that sold it to you too. It was a nice trend, or nice, very nice car, new transmission in it in the Carfax report. I've cleaned it up quite a bit, but it's it's hard to find these clean old Escalades. Oh. Oh. This is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually reminds me back of high school because my parents, high school kid, uh, gave me one of these to drive in high school. This one's a 2016 with 62,000 miles. Yeah. Look inside. Yeah. It's the nine passenger high, high kid, top. All the friends. Big TV. Oh wow. The, um, these this are, is a this is a Kansas City mobile. The thing is, they're so hard to get now because are you guys having a hard time getting express vans for people that want them? Yeah. Isn't it like there's an order problem? Yeah. So the conversion company's having the same problem right now. So I bought this four years ago. It's worth more than what I paid for it because people need them. They can't get them. It's a low mileage. I mile. was expecting like an actual boot tube in there. That's actually a flat screen. It's a big old flat screen, yes. Yeah. Wow. Nine passenger. 
Yeah. yeah. I actually get regular emails from people because they're trying so hard to find them uh, to, cool. to sell it. And uh, this behind you, when I was working at your dealership, this was in the used car row. We had rows and rows of these, and I just, I absolutely love them. Is GMT that 400. a, like, extension cord that you would get from, like, your lamp, your grandma's lamp there? <laughs> it's hooked up to a battery tender because this is a one-owner truck with 68,000 miles. Did battery tenders come with the little brown <laughs> they just, home extension cord looking thing? He added it. He added the extension cord. But, yeah, it's a little tight on that side. But look on this side. When's the last time you've seen one of this nice? It's, it's not... Original paint. It's all original paint. Never been touched up. Leather, all original. Yeah, it smells like 1989. Yeah, it's a 95, but that was the first 88, year. 88, 88 was the first year. The 88 of uh, the 400. Yep. Wow. And they didn't even uh, okay. use the back for hauling stuff. They put carpet down, so it's a okay, true so camper special. How, yeah. How many are we getting? Like, is it for every three exotics I get, I get one of the Wholesale cars? Is that how we're doing this? So yeah. every, every three for every one? <laughs> you might do some homework here because this isn't your $2,500 wholesale pickup truck. This is... You sound like my customer. These now. are very collectible now. These are... You sound, you sound like just, all my... I, I know what it's worth. Do a minute, yep. do a minute know, of Googling. I, I paid some money for it, but... I Google, I Google all the time. NADA, KDB. <laughs> I, I Google it all the time. It doesn't work on a 95 GMC, but... Oh, it sure does. Yeah. Books probably twelve hundred yeah. bucks. Correct. <laughs> so, that is the most trusted um, source of the automobile. Well, um, so there's a few more cars that you haven't right. seen, but I think you might have probably seen enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the LS Swap 911, the 49 Cadillac. Ooh, uh, you've seen the Bentayga yeah. before. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You've seen the Bentayga, well, so you can bid that. So what I'll do? Give me about a day or two. Okay. I'll come back by, and we'll hash out the uh, final prices. I thought this was going to be fun, but my butt's already puckered. Uh, no, it's like new. All right, pulling up to the car wizards while I wait for my bid here. And what is the wizard doing? Wizard? Are you working on the Citroen? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which hydraulic fluid I should go with, which one has a better body, a better finish to it and also some of the aromatics with it. So you're doing a mineral oil tasting on the Citroen because it runs on that stuff. Yeah, and then not only that, there's coloration, like this one's clear, this one's green. Okay. Just trying to figure out which one I want to go with. So you're like doing the sideways wine tasting for your car. Mm-hmm. I guess it is important because these cars just totally live off of it. They do, they live off of it. The brakes, the steering, everything runs off of it. Well, I brought my HHRSS panel to you finally to get fixed. Finally, huh? Um, I had a bid though to sell it, or it's in process, along with the rest of my entire car collection. Your whole collection? All of it, all of it. But uh, they didn't seem too enthused about the HHRSS panel, so I think it's safe for you to uh, start fixing on it. I don't okay. think they're gonna appreciate it as much as you or I do as far mm -hmm. as uh, buying it which i get it so uh, we kind of went through all the nicer stuff in the collection and then as the quality sort of dipped down uh, i could tell they were losing interest they were supposed to look at all of them and then they're they're just blind bidding the rest of them uh, so yeah you remember the issues the cvs are getting really noisy and clicky yeah but also it lost in that drag race it lost to jake's pt cruiser 100 oh, percent right. jake yeah there's tunes out there for these things. We gotta make it faster, because that, that's just embarrassing. At least be able to keep up. It can't lose to a PT Cruiser. No, no. So uh, that's important. I know the door, the wind noise is just terrible. You remember how that yeah. was all jiggly. So that would be nice to fix, along with the brakes you mentioned. Stopping would be definitely be a plus. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, what else is going on around here? I see. We booted a bunch of big projects out. We finished up some really long, some of those do-it-all type projects. Yeah. It's actually kind of sparse in here at the moment. Well, I see Euroasian Bob's Ferrari engine is still out, waiting on parts? Yep, waiting on some parts to come in. They're being ordered, and then we can start cleaning and reassembling. Okay, cool. Well, and my Ferrari V12 is still on the table, and Danielson is never far away from it, it seems like. Uh, yeah, it gets scared without me. It has belts on it. Very, very nice. So this is getting close to going back in the four, five, six, huh? Mm-hmm. 
and we put on these uh remember we put the nuts on without a hammer this time that's that's a, actually you, we never put it on with a hammer they did right the nut hammering was yeah. was quite catastrophic and uh there's my valve covers which are having some finish issues i see huh yep do you want to repaint them uh well yeah i suppose we couldn't do like ferrari crinkle red that probably look a little inappropriate that would look yeah. weird in that so, car yeah yeah keep it black oh man there's a lot of parts and pieces you remember how this all goes together yeah, it's like a couple hours worth of work it's not that bad <laughs> huh. better him than me yeah uh i don't think that they know that my ferrari 456 is in a thousand pieces as they're bidding my entire collection the guy wants to buy the whole thing but so i i won't tell them I, i'll assume it's put back together price but uh mm -hmm. yeah we'll see i may be selling them all wow well, there's no way you're not i can't well we'll see I was gonna say, money's money if they money's offer money. enough all right moment of truth here yeah well, well i got with the powers that be yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna write you a check for uh one million seven hundred thirteen thousand so that's that's for everything yeah who do you it's... want me to make it out to? <laughs> no we'll have to that's a lot of money that's a lot of money uh but you just break it down i assume yes you yeah, did. yeah okay check it out so you did put a number on all of them. Even though you didn't look at all of them, you got bored and didn't want to look at all the junk. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, we, but, we, we knew enough. I mean... Uh, the one you did look at, the HHR Panel SS, $1,000? Yeah, I figured that was charity. I, I paid $6,500 for it. It's one of the rarest performance Chevys made in the last decade. Somebody made some money off you then. It's... Okay, well, okay, you don't appreciate that. You don't appreciate the really? million-mile Ram, obviously. I get that for $3,000, but... <laughs> not selling it to you for that. Uh, and then... I don't know. Okay, well, I'll go to the top. Maybe okay. it'll make me feel better. Let's see. Lamborghini Countach. For... $425,000 on Lamborghini Countach? I think I could probably get that. Well, I guess one just sold today for like $600,000. So that's a... That's a give pretty... me a couple. Give me a little bit of meat on the that's, that's quite a margin, but... Holy moly. Okay, the SLR Roadster is $265,000. That's... That's good. The SLS, 175 Five nine nine, uh, one fifty. That's it's worth more because the gated manual swap. But I guess it's not proven yet. But uh, there you go. the Z eight's one sixty five. That's that's a lot. Okay, the FF. That's that's a good one. The Bentayga. Mm -hmm. I know you. I know you're attached to that one. No, no, I'm not attached to the Bentayga anymore at all. Uh, that's that's a hit on the Bentayga. That's probably market. Boy, you really like my sixty six Corvette too. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that one. Okay. And then we get back into the realm of stupid. Uh, the Vanquish, I'm not selling to you for 35 grand. The 49 Cadillac. I mean, the My the 32 grand on the My so, <laughs> so I don't get any of the good ones? Good um, ones? No. And the Grand National, no. The 30 grand, I mean, that's not out of the realm of reason. But I was going to buy that myself. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, and then you were poo-pooing my green GMC Sierra saying it was a $2,500 car. It looks like he did some homework, though. You know, you know that was another charity. I think I think I want that one. <laughs> that one, too. It's pretty nice. The, the soft seats, the whole soft seat, that's what got me. Well, okay, that's a lot more than $2,500. Bucks. That's, a, yeah. that's a lot. That's, yeah. that's almost what they cost new. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the van. Yeah, the van. That's... The brown streak is a very handy van. It, it's, it's a handy dandy. That's that's almost what I paid for it three years ago, though. Oh so wow! If you okay. Think about those two. Let me know. But um, the uh, the Ellis Swap 911 20 grand. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even look at it. Well, I was gonna buy that one myself too. <laughs> okay, you've seen the videos. I'm too attached to that one. Um, the Escalade, you only bid five grand, which is, guess what you paid for it uh, before you sold it to me a year ago. Well, yeah, because that's. I mean, I looked. I can't. Buy it for more than I paid for See, it the second time. So you guys made like four grand off of me on that Cadillac. No, you did not. <laughs> okay. We're friends. You didn't look at the Jurassic Park Jeep, so five. Okay, so one point seven million dollars and change. I'm out my whole collection. I get to start over. Start over, fresh start. I don't think I'm going to do that, but I will think about some of these. Okay. I think you're buying a few cars, actually. That, that works for me. All right. I mean, that was the whole point. Buy a few, you know. Maybe I'll get lucky. Oh, you're really strong on this one. All right, well, I'll get back to you here. Okay. 
Well then, um, I did give it some thought and did end up selling five cars to Eddie's Chevrolet Future Moxie Exotics when they get that opened. You can check on their website. Some of the cars are for sale right now. The first one, the most expensive, was the Ferrari FF. And they made a great offer on that car. And honestly, I enjoy the Ferrari 599 so much better with its gated manual transmission and the Enzo engine. It just feels a lot more lively. Did really like the FF though. The Bentley Ventega, that was an obvious one. Needed to sell that. It is gone. Uh, but another surprise is the 66 Corvette. I did say I wasn't going to sell that because I did sell the other 60s muscly cars that I had, like the uh, 68 Charger and the 66 Mustang race car. Uh, but now I am completely without any kind of classic American car other than the 49 Cadillac, which is from a completely different era. So I suppose that gives me ammo to go shopping again. I'm thinking maybe another Shelby, but a street car. Uh, and then there's two more, uh, the 95 GMC Sierra. Once again, they made a great offer on that truck, even though I wasn't looking to sell it. It is very handy, very cool. I doubt I'll find another one, but uh, did let it go. And then the other big shocker, but not so much of a shocker, uh, the 2016 van, the Brown Streak, my conversion van. It is the MVP of my fleet as far as use and going to get things cross country or taking the kids to the lake. Uh, great nine passenger, amazing thing. Uh, but I think I'm just going to go buy a newer one, get something a few years newer, or even buy one brand new and get that new 6.6 .6 liter V8 gain almost like 60 or 70 horsepower and maybe not have it fade from tan to brown, but uh, still an amazing vehicle. So that leaves me, I think, down to somewhere in the teens when it comes to cars, the lowest level of cars I've had in many years. And uh, to quote Captain Picard in Star Trek First Contact, the line must be drawn here. I think I think this is it. <laughs> I, I'm not going to do any more uh, selling. It's going to be hunting and gathering from here on out uh, once the check's clear for all the house construction. And with the new building, which will be the focus of the next video, uh, choosing the size and uh, the cost of that. And with that, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much, Eddie Chevrolet. You can check out their inventory. I'll have it linked below. It was absolutely a pleasure doing business with them, as always. And if you're wanting to sell some cars or a whole fleet, uh, they're certainly buying and uh, paying good prices. They also have some amazing cars for sale right now, so be sure to check them out.